Pinecone. Looks like a hop, even. We're just doing a live stream. Service got all sketchy and uh, security. I was walking in an area where I guess I wasn't allowed to walk. <laughs> And uh, started to just go and do a video. Quality might be a little better. We're checking out these columns. There's a couple of nice domes on this one too. Shout out to my lunch break. Did some boots on the ground out here. That made me want to come check this one out for myself. Let me tell what that is. Looks like a statue of someone. We're going to head back in here. And I guess we won't cross the the tape this time <laughs> I was showing also on the live stream how this goes down we talked about some of these buildings going underground right so this definitely looks like it does and this is the ground level first floor here We've got a family here I think taking photo shoot There's a couple of other buildings we were checking out. <clears throat> this is about the point where we got in trouble. I guess we're not supposed to cross in there. It's like another dome up here. No lights in that one. It looks that looks really old there. And of course, there's several other buildings in the area. Nice fountain there. Not being used at the moment. Look at that building back there. Looks interesting. We'll go check that out also. Courtyard clothes. Obviously, they're watching because that lady came out of nowhere. Two buildings here. There she is again. <laughs> Should go question her about the dates of the construction of this building and who built it and all that. got it out for me right now anyway let's get a view of the, the dome and we got something over there we could check out see the portal there and so yeah I'm just barely getting into this stuff learning I was mentioning on the live that I'm yeah, I'm really fascinated by the columns, the arches, and just a lot of the work. The materials they're, they're using. I'm been learning about uh, different things, just like the, the possible tech that are on top of these buildings. Or were on top of these buildings. But it's a couple more domes there. Let's look at this one. 
even possibly the type of lighting they were using back in those days was different because if you look at some of these pictures like the old world fairs pictures and how some of these buildings were lit up the lighting seems different another one on this side it's like a ladder there probably deconstructing something But yeah, that's another thing they talk about is that someone's bumping over here. Um, what is it? That there's always seems to be some sort of construction on or around these buildings also. And re whether they're uh, revamping or Remodeling, what are the other words? Um, yeah, I don't know. Some of us believe that they're really just destroying or covering up and, and copyright, right? Stop it here. Quick clip because the music's still playing. Check it. This building looks fenced from this side and looks pretty empty. So I don't know what this building is. But being here in Pasadena, it's probably a good chance it's haunted. Closer look at the portal there. Looks like a church. Look, that's a it's like a bunch of little smaller columns there. style you would call that here goes this building see how it's fenced up and I'm not saying it's old world I don't know but I wonder why uh, shut down Funny, these dudes are over here hanging out. City Hall is right here. The police station's right up there. <laughs> They're banging music. It's all good. I'm sure most of the uh, more, most of your regular Pasadena residents are like, "What the hell is this?" But Pasadena does have its hood side, so it's not surprising. Usually not around here though, but I guess <clears throat> just with the changes of LA, a lot of these areas are starting to get more, uh, obviously the homeless and just other activity. See this brick building across the street here. Kind of got my eye, but not sure if it's anything, but let's go hit another big building.